We all agree that sustainable intensification of agriculture in Eastern and Southern Africa needs our strongest attention. We work on increasing the efficiency of land productivity. We think about improving nutrients. We notice the importance of water, but we hardly work on, think about or notice the importance of farm power. Sustainable intensification of agriculture isn't possible without farm power. And farm power is decreasing. The number of drought animals is getting smaller and smaller. Life and work as a farmer is so hard that the young generation has stopped farming and moved to the cities. Female farmers can't bear the drudgery any longer. Too often, the only power farmers can use is the one that their muscles supply. At the same time, the population of Eastern and Southern Africa is urbanizing and growing very rapidly. The demand for food is bigger than the supply. How can this growing and changing demand be satisfied if farm power decreases? In order to avoid even more hunger, farm power needs our urgent attention. Since the number of drought animals is decreasing, motorized mechanization seems to be the only way to increase farm power supply for many farmers in Eastern and Southern Africa. Based on experiences from other regions of the world, the two-wheel tractor seems to be the form of mechanized farm power on the increase that is best adapted to the Eastern and Southern African context. Two-wheel tractors don't need much fuel. They are affordable for everybody, lightweight and easy to maintain. They can be used for strip tillage and for direct planting. For small grain like teff, they help to produce a considerable gain in yield and necessitate less plowing operations. They are very efficient in small and fragmented fields, minimize soil degradation and form no threat to biodiversity. Attempts to provide Eastern and Southern Africa with appropriate mechanization were already made 20 years ago. Unfortunately, those attempts failed. But times have changed and Eastern and Southern Africa seems ready for new challenges and opportunities. The value of agriculture in Africa has increased a lot in the past 10 to 15 years. Agricultural products are becoming more and more attractive commercially. Intensification is a must and the demand for mechanization has never been so big. At the same time, mechanization is blooming up in everyday life like never before. Motorbikes and tuk-tuks can be seen everywhere. People who can repair those small motor engines can also repair two-wheel tractors. The materials to fix them are available and there is no lack of fuel anymore. Now is the time to introduce the two-wheel tractor in Eastern and Southern Africa. But what is the best way to do so? First of all, we need to clearly identify the tasks that need to be mechanized. Find the best way in which mechanization can make farming more attractive. After that, we can make sure we find or manufacture the right machines for the right context. Best would be to have the machines made locally. Only then attention should be given to the demand, to making farmers understand how much their lives can improve with a bit of help from a machine. And finally, when all this is done, new businesses can be created, capacities can be developed, and the two-wheel tractor can be introduced into Eastern and Southern Africa the way we see it, as a flourishing new business that will help improve the lives of farmers, mechanics, manufacturers and all those involved and most importantly help ensure there is enough food for everyone.